One of the things I teach in my class is that you can define addiction by looking at the three C's. Uh, they include loss of control, that's one of the C's, uh, compulsion to use the drugs, that's another, and the third one is uh, continuing to use in spite of the consequences that you are typically aware of as a drug user. So for example, um, from the consequence point of view, you may realize I've lost my job, I've lost my family, I'm in a really bad place here, and yet you cannot stop using. So even though you're consciously aware of the consequence, it's not enough to stop you from using. Compulsion is this result of continued use of the drug where it starts to rewire the parts of your brain uh, that um, lead you to certain kinds of behaviors. So ultimately your brain is getting rewired and it provides this compulsive use where you neglect all other consequences as we've already discussed and you spend a lot of your time just thinking about the drug, uh, desiring the drug, thinking of ways to get the drug and that's kind of the, the compulsive uh, aspect of it. Uh, so the loss of control is, it's again related to things like the compulsion of using it. So you may say to yourself, I'm going to buy this much of a drug and it's going to last me for the month. And before you know it, you've used it all up in maybe a day. You've gone on a drug binge. So you think that you can control it, but your actions and behaviors show that you actually cannot control it. That you use more than you anticipated, um, and you use it more quickly.